what's going on for you and how could I help? Um, so I will say the past few days I've been kind of busy. So I've been a little off track in terms of practicing, uh, because I'm working full time and I did just move. So, uh, but other than that, I feel like I've been trying to stay pretty persistent. I, this isn't my first time taking it. So I feel like I have a kind of an advantage in that way because I am already familiar with what's going on. And also I took it in May when it was the flex. So me taking the flex again, I'm not really nervous about it because I definitely know what to expect. So it's just a matter of trying to stay on track with studying and knowing that I'm studying like the right material and not wasting my time. <laughs> right, right. Well, it sounds like you're in pretty good shape overall. And there might, there might just be some tweaks to make in terms of knowing right. what your daily plan of attack is. So you've uh -huh. got the study plan, right? Right, yes. Okay, so that's the general roadmap, but I'm happy to address questions about it. Uh, I don't know that I have many questions about it. It's really helpful. I've, I feel like I've definitely learned a lot just from doing it for a couple of days, honestly. Sometimes like on a lunch break, I'll just do a few practice problems. And I feel like I've actually been improving. A lot of my scores have been um, higher. I haven't taken a practice test in a few weeks. So I definitely want to take the, like another one again. But I will say just for like the practice study sets, I feel like I've been getting a lot more questions right, especially on the logic games, which it's kind of like a weakness. Um, I would just like to be able to master those because I know that that's the easiest way to get points on it. So that's my goal. <laughs> good, good. Well, what's the biggest challenge you're facing then? Surprisingly, I think... I will say my reading comprehension is pretty consistent. The issue is my logical reasoning. I'm just kind of, it's hit or miss for me. So sometimes I'll do a diagnostic test and I'll score a lot of points on the logical reasoning. Uh, but then there'll be other times where I'll only get like maybe, I don't know, anywhere from 12 to 15 of the questions right. And that's not ideal for me at least. Um, and I know like with the LSAT flex only being three questions, I don't, or I'm sorry, not three questions, three sections. That's kind of nerve wracking. Like I want to make sure that I'm nailing it, you know? Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just logical reasoning and reading comprehension. Like I feel like I'm better at the logic games. It's just sometimes they trip me up, especially with the timing. Like I do like to take my time and that's sometimes an issue. Yeah. Yeah. So on the flex, you're right. Every question matters more. So right. <laughs> no, no, not as much room for error. We got to ace these. So yeah. you said 12 to 15 questions in logical reasoning. Are you noticing certain trends in terms of certain question types? Um, I, I think my issue is it's not necessarily a specific question category that chokes me up. A lot of the time you have like the right answer and then you have the second best. I find myself getting tripped up and going to the second best like almost every time. So that's my issue. Just trying to think like the test taker or test makers. That's what I'm really trying to work on. So it's not like a specific category. It's just that concept in itself. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. And it's not always about question stem type. It could just right. be about getting things wrong because they're harder. So right. this comes down to your review method to figure out exactly where your misunderstanding is coming from and yeah. what is making that second best, as you called it, wrong answer seem especially appealing and what ultimately makes it wrong and what makes the right answer seem unappealing, uh -huh. but what makes it correct in the end. So I have some videos on this in the course. I call it the Socratic review method. Okay. I will definitely, I'll write that down so I can check those out. Of course. And I'll send you the link to a video as well. Walking okay. through it. Perfect. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my issue. And then for some reason, I don't know. I feel like I'm usually better with English stuff. So I don't know why the reading comprehension is, it trips me up. I think it's just kind of the same thing with logical reasoning. I'm always hitting that like second best option. And it's just, I have to get past that somehow. Yeah. Again, it comes down to review. The reading comp yeah. process for review is exactly the same as the process for logical reasoning. And right. we're actually doing a class on reading comp review tomorrow night. So yeah. I would definitely recommend attending that because I'll go, yeah. go in depth on Socratic review method, as well as a whole lot of other strategies for helping to drill reading comp in different ways. Okay. Yeah. I saw that. And I think I put that on my calendar so I can definitely. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> great. That. Well, that'll, that'll be a good place to go and feel free to right. submit questions in advance and I'm happy okay. to work them in as well. Yeah. And then another thing with that is I just, 
just, I feel like I really just need to drill reading comprehension because when I get stressed out taking the test, for some reason, my stress is um, the time. So it's hard to find the endurance to actually read the long passages. And then sometimes I'll find myself, uh, I feel rushed. So I'm speed reading uh, and then I'm like missing important content or I'll get carried away with using all the online tools, like trying to highlight stuff, but then that's actually taking more time. So then when I look back to what I highlighted may actually answer the question, I, I don't know, it just kind of turns into everything's highlighted. So then it's not, I'm missing the important parts. So yeah, that's another issue. Just, I need to learn how to like take notes on the passages instead of try to highlight everything. That's a great question. I'll cover that too, but I'll also say briefly now, that in my experience, those who do best on reading comp mark very little or not at all. Right. So you might want to tend away from that. It sounds like it might not be working for you. If you just end up highlighting everything, then it's like you've highlighted it's not, nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it'll be like oh, paragraphs. I'm like, okay, that's a little much. It's more that's unhighlighted than what is highlighted, which isn't very helpful. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll touch on that tomorrow too. Yeah. And I don't know. I just feel like I don't think that I'm necessarily weaker on a certain subject. I know at first the logic games were definitely the hardest just because you're not born with that knowledge. I mean, you kind of have to learn how to do that. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's just kind of, I'm on equal playing ground for all of them. I just need to practice and perfect them. Right, right. So more work in all areas, but you've noted reasoning and reading comp as particular areas to focus. And I would recommend especially right. with the review process. Right. And I think it's because with logic games, I, it's because it's kind of like math, you know, there's like one right answer. And if you set up the formula properly, like you'll get the right answer. And then it also helps with everything being multiple choice. So. Yeah. Multiple choice. The answer is right in front of you and right. you can, in, <laughs> In desperate times, you can brute force a game. But as you know, since games is a bit better for you, if there are ways to use inferences up front or to use right. multiple main diagrams, then you can often break it open. Yeah, I think what was a breakthrough for me was just learning how to properly diagram things. Like before I was taking a course, like I said, the Khan Academy online, it is really helpful, especially comparing it to the LSAT Flex. It's very similar in terms of you know, the digital setup, and even a lot of the questions are very similar in style. However, I'm just not really, it'll tell me why I got an answer wrong, but it's not really teaching me how to properly set it up, or at least in a way that makes sense. Like, I'm having to read a passage on how to diagram something, but I feel like I'm more of an interactive learner or visual learner, at least. So I will say just by even watching a few videos and doing a couple of the days on the study schedule, that's helped immensely learning how to diagram. Because I feel like once I know how to diagram certain you know, categories of the logic games, it's just so much easier and it makes it like a faster setup to get to the answer. So. Excellent. No, I'm really glad to hear that the course video explanations are helping. That's the right. idea. Yeah, no, it definitely has helped. Um, I just have to stay, you know, consistent uh, with studying. Yeah, we'll keep at it. Keep working through the schedule and using the course lesson videos. Keep coming to class. Again, I will take more requests as to what to cover tomorrow night. And of course, I'll do future right. classes on uh -huh. reading comp and reasoning as well. So stay tuned. Okay, great. Thank you. My pleasure, anne -Marie. I'll see you in class soon. Have a good one. All right. Um, thank you, you too. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.